time to get caught up on my 2020 book reviews. <laughs> Most people, you know, did their wrap-ups or catch-ups or whatever it was in the month of January. And it is now February and I'm just getting caught up. So my plan is to, of course, post this update um, to get you caught up. And then later on, also in the month of February, to let you know what I read in January. And so um, 2020 was a rough year for a lot of people for a lot of reasons. I'm not going to recap. But, um, yeah, so <laughs> I just didn't really finish, you know, anything that I started. <laughs> um, but that's okay, because, you know, it's a new year, new opportunities, and all that jazz. So I figured I would go back and actually talk about the things that I read in 2020. At least the stuff that I finished out the year, because I had done a pretty good job for a little while <laughs> keeping up with that stuff. But, um... So I'll let you know what I finished out reading in the year 2020, and later on in the month, I'll let you know what I read in January of 2021. Alright, so let's see, the first thing that I'm going to go back to is Keep Writing with Faye, Sparks to Defeat Writer's Block, Depression, and Burnout. This was a 5 star rating. And my review is I read this book in August of 2020 and am reviewing it in January of 2021. Shortly after reading this book, my reading and creative writing were put aside to help me cope with all that was 2020. This is such, um, there is so much in this book that it could benefit any creative person, not just writers. But as a writer, it really touched my soul. Before reading this book, I might have felt ashamed to step away from my creative outlets or um, robust reading schedule. The major takeaway from this book is that you are not alone, and in time and in time and effort, you can move on um, with your life. Not everything in the book will be specifically applicable to everyone who reads it, but anyone with an open mind or anyone seeking options to address writer's block, burnout, and depression will walk away having gained something positive. If nothing else, the reader will be able to appreciate the personal connection the author makes as she tells her story of depression and burnout. Highly recommended to writers at any level and other creative types. So yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good book, you know, with there being such a long time span between when I read it and when I reviewed it, couldn't go into a whole lot, but I just wanted to express that it was, it was a good book, definitely worth reading, actually probably helped me through 2020 a bit. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what else I read. Oh, okay. So the next one is Writing the Other. This was a three star rating for me. So let's just get into the review. Again, <laughs> I read this book in August of 2020 and am reviewing it in January of 2021. I took a creative and reading hiatus shortly after reading this book. This book was disappointing, but not devastating. Considering I read it during the resurgence of the Black Lives Matter movement, I might have been extra sensitive to the content but it honestly felt lacking. The book started off well enough and seemed to have good intentions, but it just constantly came up short. The activities didn't always seem to make sense. And then all then always the <laughs> the activities didn't always make sense to me and some of the examples seemed too one-sided. Still, if you've never tried to write a character unlike yourself, this is a good place to start. I wish there was more to it. I can't give it a one star rating because I didn't hate it and I won't give it a two star because I did actually finish it. Not sure I'd recommend it, but I would definitely discuss it with anyone else who's read it. So yeah, that's just kind of where I am with that. It wasn't a bad book. Definitely wasn't what I was expecting. Just kind of like, hmm. If you've read it and you want to discuss it, let me know. 
All right, so the next thing that I have is The Princess Bride. This was a five-star read for me, and I would just like to say this was supposed to be my first buddy read. Needless to say, me and my buddies had some difficulty, but I at least finished the book in 2020. I don't know if my buddies did. <laughs> so I got that going. Here's the review. I read this book in October of 2020 and am reviewing it in January 2021. I took a month off from reading in September of 2020 to cope with all that was 2020 and got back to this book as a means of pure escape. I adored the movie for years and always wanted to read the book but had no idea so much drama was involved with this story. I can't imagine trying to read the original Morgan Stern version. For a true history buff, it sounds interesting, but I've never been more grateful for an abridgment than I was for this story. The story itself, of course, a classic and full of action, adventure, and humor. I enjoyed reading all the parts that wouldn't fit into the movie, getting to know these iconic characters in a whole new level. I'm still bummed about the sequel. Where is it? Highly recommended to fans of the movie and fans of great action adventure stories. I mean, what can I say? It's The Princess Bride. It's kind of hard to not be good. <laughs> Let's see here. Next I have, oh yeah, this is a good one. All right. Tristan Strong Destroys the World. This is a five-star rating. I devoured this book when I read it back in November of 2020, but then I forgot to review it, thus this January 2021 review. This series continues to impress me and along for the kinds, impress me and along for the kinds of stories I wish I had growing up. The first book was the typical origin story where we meet our hero and are introduced to a new world or reality. The second book throws punches and brings surprises that don't always seem to make sense, but that keep you glued to the pages as you travel along with Tristan to try not to destroy the world only to fail. This isn't a spoiler that's literally in the title. I can't wait for the next book. Even though things don't end great in the second book, there is a sense of hope. Our hero is stronger than ever and people from many worlds fight along with him to right the wrongs of the past. I could say more, but I won't. I'll wait till the next book. Highly recommended. I think that pretty much explains that. <laughs> okay, the next thing I have is, If I Die Before I Wake, Tales of Deadly Women and Retribution. This was also a five star rating. What can I say? It was a tough year, but towards the end, I guess I was just feeling charitable. Nah, these were good books. Anyway, into the review. All right, I read this book in November of 2020 and am reviewing in January of 2021. 2020 was a rough year. After taking some time off from creative writing and reading, I began to read purely for an escape. I was excited to discover this collection of stories featuring strong female characters. Some good, some really bad when following one of the contributing authors on social media. When an opportunity to receive an ARC came up, I jumped on it. I did feel bad about not reviewing it sooner, but like I said, 2020 was rough. All in all, this anthology was amazing. Some of the stories were shocking and all of them were entertaining. This is the kind of collection that makes you question the choices and actions you take in your own life. Whether a mystery, thriller, horror, sci-fi tale, or other, this collection honors the strong female character for her diversity. She's not always some bombshell in a bikini, but she could be. These women are hunters, mothers, monsters, and gods. Disclaimer, I received free digital art with no obligation to review. Highly recommended to adult fiction lovers. Yeah, it was really good. Okay, the next one is Lift Off the Raya. Okay, I'm gonna say this wrong. Raya Antana? Raya Tana? Okay, Raya Tana. <laughs> Lift Off! <laughs> it's a five star review. I read this book in November of 2020 and am reviewing it in January of 2021. 
This is a short, fun sci-fi read. It's YA, but oddly enough, I had no issue reading it. I suppose this author's approach to, um, to teens is less whiny, and it suited me. Plus, I love the diversity of the characters, not just because some are aliens. The, seri the series has the potential to become a new classic space opera series. I like the way the world, world building brings the Earth and extended galaxy together in an interconnected way, physically and spiritually. I hope to see that developed more as the series continues. I was surprised to see such so much action in such a short story, from physical fight scenes to space dog fights. I'm really looking forward to the next installment. Recommend it to fans of YA sci-fi and space operas. By the Sea, a Molly McGee cozy sailing mystery, book number five. I like this series. Let's see. Uh, this was a five-star read. <laughs> All right, here we go. This was another great installment of the Molly McGee Molly McGee mystery series. Scooter and Molly have to be the strongest couple on the planet. Molly keeps finding bodies, and Scooter keeps eating chocolate to cope. Scooter keeps staring. <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm cracking up myself. Scooter keeps starting new hobbies from sailing to cat tube to trivia and Molly keeps eating chocolate to cope. I guess it's their unified reliance on chocolate that keeps these two going. Seriously, the laughs keep coming, unfortunately along with the deaths as Molly and Scooter become more and more a part of the Coconut Cove community. The book helps solidify their status as like family with all the other reoccurring ca characters. <laughs> I don't want to say too much because I'd rather you read this book and all the books in this delightful series. This series has been a wonderful lighthearted escape for me in the past few years and I look forward to more. Disclaimer, I received a free digital arc with no obligation to review. Highly recommended to fans of humor and cozy mysteries. So that is how I finished out 2020. Um, I've done some pretty cool, amazing reading in January, which I'll be sharing with you later. And hopefully this video will come together pretty well with some editing. So <laughs> um, if you you know want to tell me some things that you read in 2021, and I love to hear them. And um, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to this channel so you can, you know, get updates for when I post videos and don't doesn't cost you anything. And, you know, let me know in the comments if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And that's all I have for now. Bye bye.